Sunday, July 31st. This is Todd at NC Solar Electric at the DIY help desk. And I am doing an experiment today to test my Horn Miles inverter operating from a power supply, operating from a battery powered inverter, or operating from a battery, because that's all I can get out of here. And um, I'm gonna see if, uh, if it works. It's a very cloudy day, so my system is barely putting out 300 watts with all 10 panels. So it's a good day to test it. Um, let's see how it goes. Now let's turn this around. All right, so under here, I have my one miles inverter, which is disconnected at the moment. It's my Jinko panel. And here is my one miles MC4 connectors. Anyway, here is the connector my power supply. I'm gonna plug that in here in a second. Over here is my little Ames inverter. And it's just a little 650 VA inverter, 120 volt output. And up here is a Drock power supply, which is uh, zero to 50 volts DC, the 120 volt input. So the power supply is gonna be powered by this, which is coming from a uh, Power Queen 12 volt lithium ion battery. So, give me a second to plug everything in. It's all hooked up now. We're all plugged in. Okay, we're all hooked up again. I had to reverse the polarity, apparently. Marking on the connectors on the inverter is actually um, the opposite of what the inverter inputs are. Keep that in mind. The positive MC4 connector goes to the negative of the panel. And the negative MC4 connector on the inverter goes to the positive of the panel. Or in this case, the positive of the power supply. So, red and black are backwards now. Oh well and I'm applying input. So I'm gonna bring this up. Startup voltage is about 43, 44 volts. Let's call it 42. And right now, I'm gonna try jumps right past it. Let's get it right here. You can't really see it, it's 40.3. This is the power supply output. on the first data point. It hasn't started yet. So the grid is turned on. We have grid voltage. We have it had no frequency because the grid was down. We have temperature. So we're good. Waiting for it to start. I don't know if this is going to be visible. Um, right now, it's you know, set to 17.2. You see that 16.2 on the meter on the micro inverter. I'm going to slowly raise this up to 50. Right, that's maxed out. Right. And then I can see uh, linearly, <laughs> or whatever, 
I get on the output, which I'm monitoring with the sense monitor for only the whole miles inverter. Let's go see. We're currently at 352 watts of production. You can see over that time frame power went from 162, it ramped up until it hit its limit. Beautiful. These are the power supply input over the test. So the microinverter output readings over the test.